Hey everyone, this is Gary, the Renegade Dream Builder from the Body Electric. And today I wanted to talk about two ancient symbols that we see every day that are used by one profession, and it's just that we have forgotten what they actually represent and what they mean to us as individuals. One of these ancient symbols is called the Ecclesius. And they believe that was created by a group called the Anunnaki, who were masters of energy. And we see this symbol every day on the sides of ambulances. The second ancient symbol would be the Caduceus. And the Caduceus was also believed to be created by the Anunnaki. Now, being masters of energy, they created two snakes on one's staff. And we see that on doctor's offices, hospitals, uh, business cards, anything that has to do with the medical profession. And a place of healing always has two snakes. So why two symbols representing energy? Why not just have one? And why have one snake on an ambulance and two snakes on a hospital? Because energetically, you can be out of balance. And that's why that's on the ambulance. When you are out of balance, you're sick. So they come with an ambulance and pick you up out of balance and take you to a place of balance. And in ancient times, they took you to a healer. But today, they take you to a doctor at a hospital. But it goes much deeper than this. When you study this ancient symbol, you will see that the snakes twist a certain number of times there are two snake heads, wings, and a ball on top of that staff. Now what that represents is there are seven spaces in the Anunnaki caduceus. Those are the energy spots for your chakra. The snakes go over your eyes, and your third eye is open. And when you do that, you reach nirvana total consciousness. You are connected to the universe. That is actually what the caduceus is about. It's about perfect energetic balance. And that perfect balance was only taught to very few people because it unlocked the mysteries of the universe, consciousness, and nirvana. One of the most important elements of achieving this perfect balance is we must ground ourselves to the earth. When we ground ourselves to the earth, we allow the energetic flow of the universe to pass through our bodies. And in that sacred state, we can achieve the ultimate balance. Just about anywhere on earth, is a good place to ground yourself. But if you're looking for the ultimate balance, the best place is an energy site, also known as a vortex. And the Native Americans called them a sacred healing spot. So the next time you feel a little out of balance, maybe sluggish, go outside, take your shoes and socks off and stand on the earth and stay there for 5, 10, 15 minutes whatever you feel is appropriate, and you will have more energy than you've had in a long time. And the other thing is, if you can't sleep at night, stress, tension, whatever it is, you go outside, you lay on the ground for another, like 5, 10, 15 minutes, and you get up and you go back inside, you will have the best night's sleep you have had in years. And the last thing I wanted to add is just how important the caduceus symbol is when it was made by the Anunnaki's. You see, the shaft is your spine, and that's why there's places for your chakras all the way up through, and for you to achieve enlightenment. This is a representation of your DNA, your energy, your ultimate balance and connection with the universe. So what I would like you to do 
right after this video is to go outside, take your shoes and socks off, and run, hop, jump, play, or just sit. But if there's any way you can do it, go outside right now and ground yourself so you can feel the incredible healing power of the earth. Because when you do, you will understand that grounding is experiencing the full flow of the universe, the full understanding of consciousness, and expanding your creative potential for all living things. This is Gary, the Renegade Dream Builder, and I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on the next episode of the Body Electric.